Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solution for Confluence, and as we know that is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video, we are going to set up Confluence single sign-on with Keycloak using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to your Miniorange single sign-on plugin. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on Take a tour of the add-on. Now let's proceed with the configuration. Click on Add New IDP. You can select Manual Setup Flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow which we will be covering in this video. Now, scroll down and select Keycloak as an identity provider. In the Service Provider Metadata window, you can view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So firstly, we are configuring Keycloak as identity provider. Go to the Keycloak admin console and log in with your credentials. Now, select your realm. Go to the Clients tab from the left menu. Now, click on Create. You can import the Confluence metadata, either by uploading the metadata XML file, or by manual setup. Here we will add the metadata details manually. You will find the client ID in the plugin. Select manually configuring the data on your IDP. SP Entity ID is used to uniquely identify your service provider. Copy it. And paste it in the client ID in the application. Select SAML, as client protocol. Click on Save. Client is created successfully. Now enter the name of your choice. Turn on the Include Authn statement. Turn on the sign assertions. Set the signature algorithm as RSA, SHA256. Set the canonicalization method as exclusive. Go down. And turn on the force name ID format. For the name ID format, select email. However, you can keep it as username as well, which will then send username in the name ID attribute. You will find the valid redirect URL in the plugin. Copy ACS URL. And paste it in the valid redirect URLs field in the application. Now scroll down. And go to fine grain SAML endpoint configuration. Paste the copied ACS URL in the assertion consumer service post binding URL. Click on save. Now, go to the Mappers tab. Click on Add Built-in. Select Email, Given Name, and Surname. Then click on Add Selected. Now, let's set up Confluence as Service Provider. Go to the Service Provider Metadata window in the plugin, and click on Proceed. Enter the custom IDP name of your choice. IDP metadata can be imported in one of the three ways. Metadata URL. Metadata File or manual setup. Here we will be going with manual setup. Scroll down. To find the single sign on URL, go to the key cloak. In the realm settings, general tab, you will find endpoints details. Click on SAML 2.0 identity provider metadata. In this XML file, you will find key cloak IDP metadata. Copy single sign on URL. And paste it in the given field in the plugin. Go back to the Keycloak Metadata XML file. Then copy Entity ID. And paste it in the given field in the plugin. Again go to the Keycloak Metadata XML file, and copy the signing certificate. And paste it in the given field in the plugin. Now, click on Save. After saving the SAML settings, go down to the Test and Get Attributes URL. Copy it. Go to the Incognito window. And in the Location bar, Paste the copy URL from the plugin, and press enter, and you can see successful test configuration here, along with email, name ID, first name, and last name. You can scroll down, to check SAML request and SAML response. Go back to the plugin, and click on proceed. In the user profile section, you can map the user profile attributes. We had configured name ID format as email ID and keycloak. So you can either put email ID, or name ID for the email attribute here. As Keycloak has separate attributes for first name and last name, select yes from the given drop-down. 
Now for the first name attribute, select first name. And for the last name attribute, select last name. Click on save and proceed. From this drop down, configure the default group, that will be used to grant application access to the user. If no group is mapped, then the users are added by default to the Confluence Users group. And from this drop down, you can choose which user would be assigned the default groups. Click on View Results, click on Finish. Your IDP is successfully configured. Now whenever any user will try to access Confluence login page, he will be redirected to Keycloak for authentication after some time. That is, the users will be forced to log in via Keycloak SSO. If you want to keep this behavior, then click on I understand. But if you want to change the behavior and show both, Confluence login page and Keycloak SSO button, then click on sign in settings link. Now click on auto redirect to IDP option to disable it. Scroll down. And click on save. Now, navigate to the configured IDPs tab from the left menu. You will find all the configured IDPs here. You can view, test, edit, or delete your configuration here. You can also enable or disable SSO for the Keycloak IDP. As your test connection was successful, now you will see SSO button on the Confluence login page. Click on Use Corporate Login button. And you will be redirected to Keycloak login page for SAML authentication. Now enter your Keycloak credentials. And click on Sign in button. You will be successfully logged into your Confluence dashboard using Keycloak credentials. Go to the user profile, to check the user data. And you can see the user's full name and email ID here. Manirange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.